Hey Shaker Makers, it is Demo Donna here and I am going to be using the brand new Slimline die set. This set comes with the fantastic 12 by 6 paper pad, which of course coordinate great size-wise with your 10 Slimline dies. In this kit, you are getting borders as well as great dies to be perfect, to be perfect, for all of your slim line cards. I am gonna be showing you in this video how to create, using the slim line die, a cool little wine tag. Also featuring the fruit stand shaker kit. So make sure you comment if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and enjoy. To get started with your wine tag, you can also, if you're not interested in making a wine tag, you can convert this into a slimline card as well, which will be really beautiful and just requires a little tweaking, maybe something fun and different to do for your third circle image. So I am using the six by 12 color splash basics and this paper is double-sided absolutely beautiful different patterns different color combinations and they all work so nicely together and I love the transition between the colors where they're added different circles in to create a new color palette so you could see they all coordinate very well with each other so I am taking this really beautiful green and blue and yellow random dot paper which I think is so so fun and perfect for our wine tag. So you're also gonna wanna cut out that same die using your slimline die kit. And this is just with white cardstock. And in my sample that I had made, I just used the paper, but to reinforce it and make it a little bit stronger, we're gonna be layering it. And plus, you're gonna need the white dots anyways so this is just a way to use the product that you've already cut out what you're also going to need to do and this is a five inch by two and a half inch piece of paper that i cut out because we are going to want to have something to adhere those circles in so let's go ahead and assemble all of that first i am just going to attach my piece of cardstock to cover up two of the circles and this isn't going to be seen. It's just the white cardstock is for reinforcement. And the white cardstock here is to cover up two of your circles. So now I am going to, you can also use your wet adhesive. I'm just doing this to speed up the process so we don't have to wait for anything to dry. And now I'm just going to make sure that that is evenly placed over it, especially up here is going to be your handle. So make sure it's nice and even. There we go. And you could see some of my adhesive sticking out through this circle section and that's okay because we're going to cover those up. So now I've got a much stronger tag. So this is going to be a lot more durable where with my original sample, I just used the paper and that's not going to have a pretty long shelf life. It's pretty fragile. So having this extra support is a really good idea, especially when making a tag. Okay, so next what we're going to do is we are going to do the age look on all of our materials. So if this is something you do all the time, you can obviously fast forward. If this is something you're still struggling with and you would like to get some pointers, then keep watching because here we go. All right, so I've got this really nice Teflon craft mat. I like because this one's nice and small, so it's something that I could just grab and bring on over to my craft mat. And I'm gonna use some antiquing ink and I am simply just adding, and this is with your craft mat, you have like a slick side. I like using the slick side, the side that actually goes down I like using that side. It has like the, the silicone cover over it. Just makes it 
a little bit more durable. And now I'm going to spray that with water. So I inked that up and now I'm spraying that with water and that really kind of lightens it up. All right, so get your ink and then I'm going to hold it up and go really lightly. Now the nice thing is you can always add more. You obviously can't take it away. So you could cut out more dots, but if you go too heavy to begin with, and I like a little variation, I like it to look a little messier with my antiquing. So that is gonna be great. And luckily you get three white circles when you cut that out. So you can pick your favorite two out of three. And sometimes what I do too, especially if I haven't done this technique in a while, is I just grab some white cardstock and just play around with edges and different ink colors and see what I like. So don't beat yourself up. I definitely feel like this kind of technique. There is a little bit of a learning curve and you've got to figure out A, what you like, what looks you like, and B, the appropriate type of pressure. And like I said, I do like to add water. I think it really lightens the ink up so it's not too heavy. And I am antiquing everything. Okay, now that you have successfully gone in and done your antiquing to, I just wanted to show you this piece that I created. So I took a scrap piece once I was done cutting out all of my green elements. So to make my shaker for my grape, as well as the, the leaves. And I'm gonna be using the top of the pineapple here from the fruit stand kit for my flower. And this flower is also included in your fruit stand kit. Really, really sweet. And then I'm using two foundation dies to create the label. But this little border that I made here, I simply stuck my die on my piece of scrap paper, ran it through my die cut machine, and now I'm gonna trim it to go right underneath my tag here. So I'm just gonna lay that out. And I want to see the beautiful stitching effect. So I'm gonna kinda line it up, and then I'm just gonna cut it with my scissors. There we go. And then you can obviously take this over to your paper cutter. I'm just going to trim it because it's going to be layered underneath. And my cutting skills will not be heavily critiqued here. Hopefully. Critique away. Okay. So now I have this which is going to just be layered right under here. Now that most of these are dry, I'm gonna take my mat away and that's really easy cleanup. Just a little water and you're good to go. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is start my layering. So I'm just gonna take my circles that I went ahead and I might have gotten a little carried away with my antiquing. This one a lot heavier than my first one, but I like it. I like the variation and I like the ability to have different looks. And that's the fun part about working with your inks and playing and the more you learn and the more you do it, you can definitely have different effects. So now what I'm gonna do is take my label here Give that some more adhesive. There we go. Layer that. Just like that, and you've got a cool little border. So there are multiple border dies included in the slimline die kit. So you could play around with different variations of this look. So next what we are gonna do is stamp. So I'm gonna take the I'm so grateful 
This fruit stand kit comes with a bunch of lovely, lovely sayings. This could be a happy birthday wine tag. This could be a thank you wine tag. This can be so many different things. Just a hello or I miss you. So lots of fun options. I'm going to take my ink here and I found this color that goes nicely with this set. And this is called tea leaves. And then I'm going to center that to the best of my ability and stamp. There we go. I'm so grateful for you. Isn't that cute? And now we are going to add that to our great little label die here. And because I just stamped it, I'm putting my adhesive here. So I'm going to center that. There we go. I'm just pushing it down with my fingernail tools, not my finger, because I don't want to smear my ink. And there is a cool little labeled, layered label. So next we are going to tack that down and center that on my top circle. So if you were creating a card and you wanted to do like a third circle here, you could just add a couple flowers. I would say that would be really cute on one side and then your grape shaker on the other. So a lot of different options there. Or you can do your saying on one side, your grape shaker and some flowers in the center. Endless possibilities. I know I probably say that a lot. Okay, there we go. I bent out my little edges because this is gonna be a tag on the outside of the wine bottle. You really can play with the dimension and you don't have to worry about it being too flat. So next what we are gonna do is create our grape shaker. So I'm gonna peel off the protective layer on our double-sided foam cushion and make sure the grapes are not symmetric. So make sure you have it going down the right way. So see how it's gonna fit a little differently. So it's, it's always good to kind of plan ahead and lay your shaker materials out in the orientation of the actual shaker, if that makes sense. So if I did that the other, if I tried to layer that on the other way, it wouldn't fit exactly correct. So make sure you're paying attention to that when you're working with more organic shapes like grapes and the items in the fruit stand kit. All right, so I'm gonna pop this guy out and go ahead and sprinkle your toppings in there. This kit comes with such adorable toppings, but with the color palette that I'm using, I am just gonna add some of the really fun little square toppings, some of the green diamonds and some of the clear diamonds. And there we go. Perfect. Now I'm gonna peel off the adhesive again, the adhesive protector. And now grab a piece of acetate. There we go. And now that seals all of your toppings in there nicely. I'm gonna mix them up. Now we're gonna take our sheer glue and I'm gonna do a nice light trail of glue all around my edge of my shaker. So you can see I've got that nice little a very thin little line of glue. You don't want to go too heavy because this is a tacky adhesive. So if you've got globs of glue squeezing out, that is going to be sticky. And now I just apply a little bit of pressure and that glue picks up that paper quite quickly. You don't have to hold it down for too long. You can weight it down with an acrylic block or a stamp pad. 
but in a matter of seconds, that is pretty secure. It's a great part of wet adhesive, especially the sheer glue. Dries nice and quick, but yet you could still move it around if you need to have some extra time to do that. Okay, so I am going to add my sheer glue. And we are going to pop our shaker down. Since my adhesive is still wet, I can add this guy underneath, or you can actually add it to the back of the paper. So I'm just going to scooch him in just a wee bit like that. So I have that stem coming from the background. Next, we are going to take our leaf and I'm just gonna curl, so I'm gonna use my my fingernail tools, and I'm just kind of curling up my leaf to give it more of a, a realistic look. Since we've got that beautiful aged look, might as well just go all the way. All right, I'm adding a little bit of sheer glue, and I'm gonna stick my leaf right there. And then I'm gonna take my flower so I've got a couple, I'm gonna do one layer here. And again, I'm just gonna add a little sheer glue. I added, I put a gluber down there, but I've played with it quite a bit. So I'm gonna add a little sheer glue right there. And then a fantastic bling. These are so pretty and the color just worked. So perfect with this layout. So there is our shaker on the bottom and then now we're going to add just another little flower up here and again I'm just using my fingernail tools to kind of play with that I'm going to do a layering technique for this one so these flowers do come in your kit and I am going to layer them just like that so you can see I've got one on top of the other. And with the antiquing, they just turn out so cute. And you could see the depth in the color and the two different layers of your flowers. Again, I'm gonna stick beautiful bling right inside there. And all of the products I use, make sure you go check out the descriptions on all of our videos and you could see what Queen & Company products they are and it takes you right to the website so it makes it nice and easy. So for the little leaf edition, I am this is the top of the pineapple shaker and I'm just going to trim those two leaves off. Obviously, you could save those and use those if you're making multiple of these, you can use all three of them. I'm going to add a little sheer glue. There we go. And then we will just pop this guy up just a little bit. There we go. Really fun. You could put a beautiful little twine ribbon on this. All right, and now we are just gonna add a little bit more bling and then we will be good to go. Okay, and there is your fantastic wine car wine tag. You can either do a fold right here, but I like to do a fold right there, like centered. There we go. And now you've got a great little wine tag to gift to any of your special friends. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and if you missed this week's live at the Queen and Company Facebook page, I also made this card using the Fruit Stand Kit and the Slimline Die Kit, so make sure you go check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week. Go ahead and comment below. If you have any questions or you want to chat about anything, feel free to leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching.